Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make a RFID lock based very accurate filling machine with the help of flow sensor, Arduino keypad and RFID module. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB where you can order 5 pieces of 10 by 10 cm PCB is just in $2. Nowadays you can avail their free assembly services. You have to pay PCB and component price but the assembly service will be totally free. You can get more detail about PCB assembly service on this page. One more interesting thing is that now you can order 3D printed parts for your custom projects. Starting from just one US dollar. So you can get more detail about 3D printing and their technologies on this page. After a few days I got our PCBs from JLC PCB. Here is the box. Let me open our PCBs. This time I ordered purple color. As you can see it looks really cool and shiny. These are all the components that are required to complete our control board circuit. First of all here is a 10 kilo ohm resistor, 3 1 kilo ohm resistors, a 12 volt relay and a 12 volt buzzer, BC547 transistors, a 5 volt voltage regulator with this heat sink, a DC power jack, 5 mm red LED, 100 microfarad capacitor, 1 N4007 diodes, here are some male and female heater pins and these are two terminal blocks. Now I will solder all these components to our new PCB. Ok guys component soldering is done. Now I will collect all other components that are required to complete our machine. So guys these are all the materials that are required to complete our machine. First of all this is our control board PCB, a 12 volt solenoid valve, a pipe for the water pump, this is our water pump, Arduino LCD, this is our Arduino Nano, a matrix keypad, this is RFID module and uh, this is RFID tag and card. Here are some pieces of wood. We will make a stand for our machine with the help of these pieces. Here are some 3D printed parts and uh, this is our flow sensor and here are some nut bolt and screws. Now we will start assembling our machine. Now first of all this part will be connected here. And this pipe holder will be connected here. And this part will go here. Now this thing will be connected here with the help of hot glue. And now this valve will be connected here. Now we will attach this thing here with the help of zip ties. I am going to connect this control board PCB and LCD on this separate board but you can also connect these things at the top of this stand. Now 
now this keypad will be connected here and this RFID module will be connected here ok guys now it's time to make all the wiring connections the wiring connections are very simple LCD wires will be connected here water pump wires will be connected here solenoid wires will be connected here and the sensor wires will be connected here so I will be back just after making all these wiring connections ok guys wiring connections are now complete now it's time to burn the Arduino code here is the Arduino code for our project the code is very simple you will need to install all these libraries to make this code work for your machine else you will be unable to upload the code in your Arduino you can calibrate your flow sensor in this line you can change these values these two values the minimum value is 40,000 and the maximum value is 200,000 so you can calibrate your flow sensor by choosing any value between these values after burning the Arduino code connect the Arduino to the control board circuit you will also need to add the unique ID of your card that you want to use with this machine so to get the unique ID of your card connect the machine with your computer and open the serial monitor you will get a window like this and uh, then place the card on the RFID card reader and you will get the unique ID of that card simply copy the ID from here and paste it here and uh, if you want to add the multiple cards you can add like this copy it from here and paste it here like this and then upload the code again and that's it now connect the water pump pipe here now connect the water pump wires here and now connect it with the 12 volt DC power supply source Now we will place the water pump in this bowl of water. Like this. Ok guys so here is the final setup of our machine. So if we place the wrong card on the reader the machine will give us a warning. As you can see on the LCD. But if the card will be correct, the machine will be unlocked for only one filling. Now as you can see the machine is unlocked for only one filling. So as you can see, uh, we placed a glass over there. So we can fill 200 ml in this glass. So select 200 and then press this hash button to start the machine. Now if you press the start button again, it will not work. You will need to unlock the machine again. Let me show you. This is the clear button. So if you enter any wrong amount, you can clear by pressing this button.
so guys that's it for today's video all necessary information about this project you can find in the video description i hope you will like my this project share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe